need you to do a very simple job for me. There's this certain girl, her name is Nan, who has been, you know, messing around my husband. I want a vivid information about her. What she does, where she stays, and whatever, you know, information you can lay your hands on. You give it to me. I believe I have a picture here. I got it from Facebook. Let me see it. Oh, I can you eat? Really? Oh, good. I'm promising you this. I'll give you 2,000 Ghana cents. What? 2,000? I can even add more for you. You know, money is not a problem. Oh. All I need is the information. <laughs> Kusia, Kusia, give me five. I need better. I trust you, yeah? Okay. So you get to work and get to me, yeah? What's up, man? So now that you've gotten admission to the university and you know mom has paid your admission fee, yeah. what are your plans about this pregnancy? I'm even confused. This issue is giving me headache. And I can't abort it. I can't abort this baby too. You know that. <laughs> You don't plan on aborting this baby? No, I can't. I want to keep it. <laughs> and you want to go to school too? Yes, I have to go back to school. <laughs> but do you know something? I have to tell mom and dad about this. Please, not now, okay? I will tell them, but not now. I need some money from them. Please, come on. No, you know you can't hide pregnancy. By the next five or six months, Everybody will know you are pregnant. I so I have to that. tell them. Please, come on. Me, my suggestion is let's abort this. I see. Um, anyway, uh, I'm a health worker okay. uh, in the nearby community. Okay. We're doing some kind of campaign of education about how to keep the environment clean, um, how to keep ourselves clean too, you know, even how ladies can prepare themselves and, and be attractive to men as well. You know, all about uh, neatness and then keeping oneself good and, you know, I see. So do you know Mami Rose, Madam Mace? Yeah, I know her. Uh, we're in the same team. We're working together on the same project. This lady has been disturbing us in this community. That we should keep ourselves clean, our compound, even the food we eat. Yeah, that's very important. Recently, a friend of mine aborted her baby and it was so terrible. She nearly died. I can't. I'm so scared. Please. Okay. So you knew situation. all these things and you went ahead to sleep with a married man. Oh, Look at you, you always pretend you are an angel in this house. But you go out there, do your own thing. It was just a mistake. You we call this a mistake? I think, I don't know, maybe that day I overdrank. It was just a mistake, sister. Come on. Look at you. Please, come I don't even know you taking alcohol. Sister, come and you call this us. mistake? Sister, please. Me, if you don't have all this, I'll tell mom and dad. Oh. They have to find out. Sister, please. Simple. I will tell them, but not now. Just no, I have to. Some little time. <sighs> oh, Nana, come on. Please, understand me. I'm your younger sister. Very, very important to protect you from sickness. This is what we want to do. We're, we're going to start a very big project of, you know, uh, education campaign about this very thing, so that we people can protect themselves from illness and all those kind of things. It's okay. very, very important. So, so you, you live around, right? Yeah, I live around. Oh, I just nice. live in the city. Oh, good, good, good. That means now I got a friend in this area. <laughs> I'm happy meeting you. Oh, same for me. Okay, then I know that when I come, I can come to you. When I come around. Spend some time together. You're always welcome. All right. Okay. I hope you are going to design. Yeah, actually, I'm done for today, so I was gonna pick a car and go back. <laughs> Will you mind if I see you? Off? No problem. Let's go. Ah, 
Sumi Sachi, we name is Coco. Ah, Fab. Hey, Mira, a quiet bit back. It went for the mighty hard to do, but don't want to open so I want to mind the name and then you have room. For which you have already done, but you have one more flap. Hey, the grab the boys and girls like that. Your uncle had a bad, your boss was a woman, if you open what you get to be to me. Hey, there is a for bulk purchase, contact Bravo Star Ventures. This is a clear evidence. I will not watch Madam Sandra, you're always looking good. Uh, well, if you don't ask me what brought me, I think I have to go straight and tell my problem. <laughs> oh, no, 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 you were flashing me, that's a good idea. Anyways, you're welcome. Okay. What brought you to my house this good afternoon? Uh, should I say good? Uh, well, uh... So far as we are still alive, definitely it's good. Ah, well, uh, without beating about the bush and without wasting my time, it's better I go straight to the point. Sister Sandra, frankly speaking, this issue, we've been hammering it day in and day out. Please, today I want to to come and find out why anytime I mention the issue of going out with you, having you in my life, you boycott it. Please, what is it? What is the problem? What is preventing you from me? <laughs> well, the problem is the situation I found myself in. I have to fend for my family. See, 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 see. Let me, let me tell you. Look, look, look at me. Please. I'm a guy of my age. At this age, I need a woman. I don't need just a woman. Frankly speaking, I propose to many ladies, but none of them seems to fit the type of woman I need. Okay? It is you that I need in my life. No reasonable man will see you and will resist having you as a girlfriend. You're a beautiful girl that I need you and if you come into my life, the two of us can make it. I'm a man of vision and I need a visionary lady to support me. You know there's a saying behind every successful man, there's a good woman. And I promise you that if you come in my life, the two of us can make it. Please, I'm ready to handle you like an egg. You are a lady that I'm going to make you a lady of all ladies. Please, understand me. A real woman, a married material. So, 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 please, talk to me. I want to hear something good from you. See, I really, really understand your point. It's not that I, I don't want to accept you or something. But the thing is, I'm the only person in my family and I have to support them in every way. I'm a young girl. I need to dress up, drive in Porsche cars. I need to live a good life. So I need to go in for all those rich, rich men. Better than going for those poor guys. I'm sorry to say. Oh. Sorry. Really? I need, I, need, I need not to sound harsh. Hey, but you have. You've sounded it. See, you shouldn't be mocking at me as a poor person. How can you call me a poor guy? Please. God has plans for everybody. God has a purpose of creating somebody rich and somebody poor. Fine. I can't call myself a poor person, even though things are hard for me these days. 
But you have to know that the good Lord can pave a way for me. All these rich men you see, they didn't start being rich. Oh. Some of them started from where I've started. Okay? Recently, I have a friend from Fifi Bad. By his grace, my dear, yes. what brings you here? It's a surprise visit. <laughs> I never expected you. You know me and my surprise. Mm. <laughs> I went to the supermarket to buy some stuff. Supermarket? Mm -hmm. Stuff for you. Uh, don't, don't try to play one of these tricks <laughs> of yours. <laughs> I'm far beyond that. <laughs> I promised oh. you earlier really, I'm going to get you new roll-on panties, singlets, and I So you my fully promise. hit it your promise? Yeah. <laughs> hey, baby girl. <laughs> yes, yes. Wow. Thank you very much. And I'll continue. Welcome. Thank you. No, no, I'm even dumbfounded. I've even lost words. I've even lost vocabularies. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> I suggest we sit here for a while because it's lights nice. out. Oh, okay. The room is very hot. Yes. Mm. Why don't we deposit it somewhere so that we go and find a place where we enjoy ourselves this afternoon? Okay, thank you. Is it my dear? Our love will be like a new da new uh, new sight in the dust. <laughs> I will love you and I continue to love you and love you until death be part us. Let me carry them. Let me carry them. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Give it, give it to me, give it to me. Give it to me. Yeah, Let's go. Oh, will you? Yeah. <laughs> Our love is like you, tight and dust. I want to wear it. You know how you're doing. Oh. Remember when we are lovers. I remember when we are lovers. I remember when we are now when Frank met a beautiful lady like you. He proposed to the lady and when the lady accepted his proposal and they got married. Could you believe that somebody who has got married they were sleeping on a on a certain mattress? The lady didn't give up. The two of them came together, they started life and now God has bled them. They are rich. They have cars, they have house, they have work, they have their children in school. They are making life together. So God is going to put the two of us together and make us with who knows tomorrow. Please don't don't be mocking and don't be laughing at me with my poverty. For God's sake I am not poor. It is thing that I had for me these days. And the fact that I am down does mean that I will never rise up. Please. Well, you are a very nice man. And the reason why I'm not accepting you is that, like I said earlier on, I need to support my family. And I'm the only person they look up to. Look at my situation and my family background, they're very, very poor. So, yeah, I need to go in for rich men to fend for them and to fend for myself rather than going for poor guys. Hmm, brothers, sisters, have you seen what this our sister is saying? She's a beautiful lady. I have met and I wish to have her in my life. But here is her. She's saying she doesn't need poor guy in her life. And this advice to all ladies. Today you are beautiful. Today a guy has come sitting before you proposing to you. You can never be beautiful to the kingdom come. And one side thing about women is that women you aspire. You know, let me tell you. You do aspire. You can never be beautiful or at a kingdom come on. Me, as a guy, I can grow up to become 60 years. And I can still go in for a lady who is 16 or 18 years. Have you seen a woman who is 60 years 
and still going for a guy who is 18 years, this never so. So when a guy at this age comes to propose to you, don't look at his bag, don't look at his money. It is money. It is God who bless. All these rich men we see day in the day in their car, they didn't get up as rich men. No. Some of them, they even beg before eating. And when they met good wives, they are now rich. So this lady says she needs a rich man. What about if God being so good, she meets a rich man today and tomorrow, the person is no more rich. What would the future be? What do I do? Lady, me myself, I am not forcing you. Hey. If you think you can be fine. This is a trouble, is it by force? But madam, what I would say is that all that greatest is not good. If you think I'm not for you, I'll be for somebody. Excuse me. My fellow ladies, see me see trouble. Just look at this guy. All because he wants me to date him. And I've really made up my mind. I don't want to date poor guys. Remember there's a saying that. Baby the baby yeah. As for me, Sandra, I really don't want that. I want to be with her. That's why I go in for all those rich men. So that I'll drive in posh cars. Eh? You know, live a extravagant life. Dress well. Live a good life. Unlike going in for this poor guys and you very soon, near in the future, cry, you see that things will be getting falling apart and getting worse. It's my ladies, eh? I'll be you guys, you vibe. Eh? You should understand that what I'm coming for. What did I eat for? We we even soon vacate. It's not really I'm too late. Eight. Okay. See see your face. Huh? I hope you've not gotten any guy there. No, nah, it. But he told me not to do that. So what am I going to do? It. All right, all right. We discussed about we getting um, a house up, but of course my husband and I are like what I wanted. So oh. you being here will be a bless, yeah. Oh. At least you can help me do one or two things. You know, I'm a busy girl. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll be in the kitchen. Okay. I'm just I cooking some stuff to take it to school. I hope you've packed all your things on the busy kid. Yeah, I've done. Okay. Then that's, that'll be all. Alright. Mm -hmm. Then I'll be in it. Yeah, it's good to see you again. Nice. Yeah, actually, uh, it isn't any, anything serious now. Um, I've been thinking very much about how to make your dream come true. It has become my dream as well. Seriously, I've been thinking about it very much. And I think that one of the best things that I can do is to talk to some of my friends back home, tell them about our vision. They can put in more money because this dream doesn't go without money. It takes money to realize it. And if I get my people to come down here, they can support so that we can open the NGO, set up an office and start working on a larger scale. Then we can open the NGO and ask for more funds from other sources. You know, even one day, even the World Bank may come in and support. Oh, thank you very much, Mr. Luma. I'm very grateful. In fact, I appreciate whatever you and Brajan have been doing for me. Anytime I visit my community, in fact, I feel like vomiting. It's not good at all. So I'm always happy for you people helping me out. God richly bless you. Um, you know, <sighs> you're someone that deserves to be happy. You deserve to make your dreams come true. And that's all. And I want us to be as close as we can to be able to reach our goals, not just yours. I like you as a person. You know, I'm a man that always goes straight to the point so that all those around me know exactly what I have on my mind and what is in my heart. Hey, Mira, a quiet 
for book purchase, contact Bravo Star Ventures. You know the same thing so that as we are together the closer we are the better as we get along with each other then each and every one of us knows what the other wants in what way am i getting you no, 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 I do you wrong me see you how to clean the environment. That's why I'm asleep. Please help me. I want to room to rent. A room? No. No, we don't have any room here. Unless you check outside. Outside? Yeah. And we are to be I'm Nana. And you? Me, I'm Okusi. <laughs> Okusi. Okusi. Wow, you have a very nice name. You be a funny name. You're funny too. Nice meeting you. Yeah. And we have work. They came to my house over to me. I didn't listen to them. They better be. You have to take care of them. It's mm. good for you to keep your environment clean and also your body. Me, I thought it is nonsense. Even the Bible says cleanness is next to God. Actually, I just finished my service and I'm home. I don't work. You didn't hear anything? Yeah. I love it when people spend on me. My son is lucky. Yeah, I don't want to use my hand. I enjoy people's sweat than mine. Nah. By the way, we are friends. Yeah. I love you. Also, you have to your This one, this one, but I like to my Ah, you don't like it. So did you see? Oh, yeah. Look, I don't just like you as a team member. 
I like you as a lady. In what way? I don't understand. Listen, you're a very nice, beautiful, charming lady with beautiful dreams on your mind. And all your dreams and visions deserve to come true. And I'll do all in my power to make it come true. But that's not the only thing I want to do with you. I want to be with you as a lady because we got so much in common together and there is much more that we can do closer than just teammates. I'm not, I'm not getting the understanding. Listen, I told you, you're a very nice and beautiful lady with a nice dream that deserves to become true. And I'm not just here to help you realize your dream. In what way? I'm here also to be with you. I want you to be with me. Oh, you mean dating me or what? So, a man never proposed to you like this? That you don't understand what I mean? Oh, Mr. Ramon, do you know that will be possible? How come? For God's sake, you know we can date. And we are now brothers and sisters now. Besides, you are a married man. Oh. And I don't want to break up your home. Please, forget about that marriage issue. It's my marriage is my own business. It's something else. I mean, this is between me and you. You know, right now we have come as a team. And we have to work hard to achieve our goals and objectives. Of course we have to. And that is why I want us to be more close. Closer than just friends or teammates. Because there is much more that we can do. You got qualities. We have the same goals and visions in common. You can make it much more than you think and this is your chance to show the world that you got what it takes. I know but please I won't be happy sharing my mom with another woman and besides you have a beautiful wife. Listen my wife or my marriage is my own business. This is between the two of us. And <laughs>